Greetings from the Richland County Recreation Commission. My name is Henry Devereaux. Thank you for joining us for today's Black History Month Read Aloud. Today's book is Who Was Martin Luther King Jr.? It was written by Elizabeth Kaiser and illustrated by Stanley Chow. I hope that you enjoy today's story. Martin's home was very happy. He had a big sister, a little brother, a father, and a mother, and they were all kind to one another. Martin was filled with love. Martin also liked being at church. He learned to get along with everyone there, and he made many friends. Martin was filled with kindness. At home and at church, Martin was taught to love everyone, but not everyone was taught to love him. One day, Martin's best friend said he couldn't play with him anymore because Martin's skin was a different color. Martin was black and his friend was white. In Martin City and in many other places, black people were treated unfairly. It made him sad and sometimes angry. Martin wished that all people would be kind and fair to one another. He studied and he learned and he thought about how to change things. When Martin grew up, he became a reverend and an activist. He was a leader in his community. When he spoke, his words came from his big, strong heart and filled people up with love and kindness. Martin said that everyone should be treated fairly and that we should never hurt one another. He said that we could change the world peacefully. Not everyone wanted things to change, but lots and lots of people agreed with Martin. Martin showed them that they could be brave and peaceful even when they felt scared or angry. Together, they worked to show everyone else that things needed to change. One day, Martin gave a very big speech about his dream of freedom and justice for all. Many people were there to listen. Others watched him on TV. The world still remembers what he said. I have a dream that one day we will stand up for freedom together. All of God's children will be able to join hands and sing, free, free at last, free at last, Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Every year, we celebrate Martin's birthday to remember what he did. He filled people's hearts. He worked hard for change. He made the world more fair. And he did it all because he loved people. Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in the South. He was born in 1929 when laws separated black people from white people and treated black people unfairly. Black children and white children had different schools. Black people had more rules and less freedom. As Martin grew up, he decided to fight for change, but it was a peaceful fight. Martin led marches and protests. He made speeches. Many people listened to his words and joined his peaceful fight for justice and freedom but Martin and his followers weren't treated peacefully. Many people were mean and violent to them, including police officers. It was hard and scary and very dangerous, but Martin never gave up. He spoke of a dream that all people could be treated equally. With his bravery and leadership, he helped change many laws to be more fair. In 1964, Martin was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for showing the world that you can make powerful change and still be peaceful. 